My two great passions are children's issues and educational issues because I think the two tie together. Both sides of my family, my mother's side uh, in Safford and my father's side in northern Arizona were here before the 1900s. My father's side were gold prospectors, so actually I grew up uh, through the first four grades in a little town called Oatman, Arizona, which is, it was even then a ghost town. As we came in in 1872, we were the first, my great-grandfather, the first white person in northern Arizona. He was a gold prospector, so he's over in the Grand Canyon. They got attacked by Paiutes. They lost all of their, you know, their mules were run off. They lost this, so they were on their way back to the coast. But they found a, a open vein of gold under a hackberry tree there, so they settled in there. They went, you know, back to the coast. They brought all kinds of supplies. So we were probably the first white settlers in northwestern Arizona. We had the little grocery store right now in Mercantile. We had the first movie theater in Arizona. We had a one-room schoolhouse and we had one teacher for eight grades. I got to the University of Arizona. It was opening a whole new world to me. From a small town to the University of Arizona, there were opportunities there that I didn't even know existed. That higher education opened opportunities for me that I couldn't believe and prepared me uh, for my legal career and actually my community. I thought as a lawyer and having my own law firm, I thought it was very important uh, to me and my law firm and the attorneys in the law firm to give back to the community. I'm very much involved with the University of Arizona. The minute I left at the University of Arizona, I was involved with every committee. I thought it was important to give back uh, my time and treasure uh, because of the higher education experience that I had. My desire to be a region is really driven by my two passions, which uh, are the children's issues and the educational issues. The board's strategic plan, uh, which is very aggressive, sets goals for the various universities, and those goals certainly will have an impact on uh, the state going forward. For instance, a number of the goals center around student retention, goals center around graduation rates, goals center around affordability. Arizona universities contribute to the state in a number of ways. They're educating the workforce of the future, and I think that's uh, critically important. In fact, I think it's more important that as employers uh, come to the state of Arizona, they've got to be assured that there's an educated work Force. All you have to do is look at the biomedical campus in downtown Phoenix uh, to know the U of A and ASU's and NAU's impact uh, on the economy of Arizona. So I have several priorities as I begin my term as chair and um, I think two of them are access and affordability and the object is to try to bring uh, those students along, educate them, uh, give them the critical thinking skills that are gonna be necessary in today's and tomorrow's uh, economy. I want young students to know that education is uh, the surest path to the American dream.